Hello, and how are you all? As you can tell, I'm ready and prepared. Got my Wimbledon bag, got my tennis racket, got some tennis balls. I'm ready for a Wimbledon themed family quiz for NHS. So welcome if you're new. My name is Bobby Seagull. I am your host for this evening for a wonderful session all about Wimbledon. Because today would have been uh, the Wimbledon, I think, ladies finals uh, this afternoon and tomorrow in the men's finals. But sadly, because of COVID, it's been delayed or postponed to next year. So you've got to deal with just me. I hope you can handle me. Um, well, thank you for joining on. Uh, so the four rounds we have today are back to school, a bit of maths, a bit of geography, a bit of history, then pictures. How good is your eyesight? Uh, then charades. Again, we have Bobby Seagull star charades where he speaks. Finally, a bit of music. Um, and then a sing-along, and today's sing-along is a, one of my favourites. And we're going to get cracking, we're going to get cracking with round number one. So let's go, let's go. Okay, so you're back to school round. Let's have a look. Okay, question one. To spell tennis using periodic table elements alone, we would have TE is tellurium, N is nitrogen, and the S would be sulfur. But what element would the NI be? What element would NI be? Bit of chemistry, testing your knowledge of your periodic table, and you'd have seen a theme by now. Question one is always on periodic table, chemistry. So if we're spelling tennis, we're missing the letter NI. What element in the periodic table would NI be? It's not nitrogen. Because we've already seen nitrogen is N. Okay. Question number question number two. In what decade decade was the first Wimbledon championship? In what decade was the first Wimbledon championship? And again, you know I'm quite generous. I'll give you a correct answer if you're plus or minus one decade out. So give me a decade. 1970s, 1760s. Give me a decade. Give me a decade. In what decade was the first Wimbledon Championship? That's question number two. Should have done your research. Should have done your research. Question number three. I feel like a sneeze is coming on. So a bit of maths here. So in decimals, I want your answer. Really going to sneeze. Hey, you! Bless me, bless me. Okay. What is, if I was on television, they would have said, cut, edit out. They would have edited out. Okay. So um, it's a fraction. The minimum number of games to win a set divided by the minimum number of points to win a game. You have those two answers. Divide it. Give me an answer, but in decimals. I don't want in fractions. I want it in decimals. So in decimals, what is the minimum number of games to win a set divided by the minimum number of points to win a game? There we go. You got you have a you have a, a decimal question. Convert. So if you're in primary school, convert your fractions to your decimals. That is your question number three. Thank you for the bless you wishes. I appreciate that. Feel it. Heartfelt appreciation. Okay, question number four. So, spelling. I'm not going to be generous here. I need both for the correct mark. So, can you give me the two alternate spellings of tennis racket? Not tennis, but the word racket. So, as in... So, can you give me the two alternate spellings of the word racket? And you will not get any half marks. You need both correct to pick up the single point. There we go. Well, the Emery's are late to joining, but you'll get the other questions very quickly. You'll get the questions very quickly. So this question number four is, what are the two ways of spelling the word racket? And then the final question for this round, and I will circulate back up. I'll circulate back up. Question five is this. So true or false, 
Before 1972, the sport was played with white tennis balls. So before 1972, the sport tennis was played with white tennis balls as opposed to these fluorescent yellow ones. So before 1972, true or false, tennis was played with white tennis balls. So that is question number five. Question number five. And I'll circle back up them so people can see. Okay, so question number four. What are the two ways of spelling racket? As in tennis racket. Oh, my back, my back, my back, my back. Racket. Uh, question three was decimals. What's the minimum number of games to win a set divided by the minimum number to win a game? And what do we get? Question number two. So I want that in decimals, not in fractions. Question two, in what decade, I sound posher when I say that, in what decade was the first Wimbledon Championship? No Wikipedia, too late. And uh, what is the missing element? NI. Got a 10 second dance, 10 second dance. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up, time's up, time's up. No, that wasn't a 10 second dance, that was more like a 10 second pancakey, flippy something, wasn't it? Okay, so let's have a look. So question number one, I need to adjust my seat. Okay, so this was a dime, a copper, a nickel, nickel. So nickel, N-I-C-K-E-L, spelling is not relevant. So nickel, question number one. Question number two, it was actually in 1877. So the 1870s was correct. Um, and if you put 60s or 80s, you get a mark. If you put anything outside that, so 1870s, a decade either way. Question number three was, so six games to win a set, four points to win a game, six divided by four, 1.5. 1.5 meter for that. Question four, spelling the word racket. So you got this traditional spelling, R-A-C-K-E-T. So R-A-C-K-E-T. And the second one is almost like French sounding, R-A-C-Q-E-T. So R-A-C-Q-E-T. And I'll put the questions answers up again in a second. And number five. So before 1972, there was something known as black and white television. And in black and white television, you probably want a ball that's either black or white. So it was true. So after color television came in, they changed the, the ball so they were visible more to the players. Before that, they were white tennis balls, so black and white tellies would look easy to see. So it's true. There we go. Your five answers up there. Your five answers. Um, let me know the scores. If you're enjoying my quizzes, my classes, any of my programs at any stage, feel free to go to justgiving.com forward slash forward slash quiz for NHS. Next Saturday, my quiz uh, will be South Asian Heritage Month themed. So there'll be um, music, maybe some Bollywood, some geography questions on Asia, picture questions there. So again, you know the way my quizzes work. Even if you don't know much about a topic, you can, I make, I make them doable, don't I? So next Saturday will be a South Asian Heritage Month themed. So again, I'd love you to share your pictures, your reactions, a screenshot, so we can get more people involved with these quizzes.